This is a walkthrough and breakdown of my Kingfisher Escape 2025 soft top. On this boat, I uh, paired it with a 200 Yamaha, and I'm currently waiting for the 99 Yamaha. It's all pre rigged for it. Main motor's tied into the kicker. When you come to the back of the boat, there's a nice little step through. Nice and easy little step down into the boat. Step through closes and locks. Inside of the boat. I went with the angler option on it. It's got a divider in the live well. One seat's a cooler. The other one has a porter potty built into it. The boat also has full top with sides. And uh, with the angler, it comes with the uh, drop curtain for the back. Also with the angler package, there's a fish locker in the front of the boat. The one thing I couldn't find online was any information on the uh, front fish locker. It does take up a fair amount of storage space. Another nice thing about the boat, big uh, fish locker in the back or wet storage. Keep some ice in there, keep the fish cold. This is the roll-up door that comes with the angler package. This is the top up all the way. Tons of room to stand. You'd sit probably six people in here, fairly easy. I'm almost six feet and I have a fair amount of room. For storage on the boat, there's gunnel storage, both sides. There's three rod holders in there. They'll, they'll definitely hold a nine foot long trolling rod. There's this seat here and that's got the porta potty in it. There's storage under the seats. Passenger and driver. Fairly large glove box on it. And then obviously the same storage area I showed before. Underneath the bow. We got a tackle box and I usually I can get two tackle bags in there same size. And up in the front. Anchor storage. Another nice thing about this boat was this tackle storage tray, but it works good for holding my planer boards. And also a nice big cutting board with a tool holder. Put a pair of pliers, snips, knives, and then to keep the back of the boat clean, there's a wash down. So obviously there's a switch for it. And it's just like a giant garden hose. Also, there's still, even with the top up, tons of room on the gunnel for rod holders and downriggers. Lots of room at the back of the boat to fish. And even with the outboard platform on there, it's not that bad for netting fish. For the dash, you got Obviously your, your lights, bilge, horn. I have the, the deck light switch hooked up to uh, some lights on my uh, rod trees. And then there's some interior lighting in the boat that I have hooked up. With the angler package, it comes with a set of wipers on both sides. 
And then, as you can see, there's tons of room on the dash. You can mount two sonars. Just have the one for now. And then, like I said before, the boat's pre-rigged for the kicker. I'm just waiting for it still. And then you have the, on each side, there's four gunnel mounted rod holders. Come from the factory like that. Well, that about wraps it up for now. If uh, you have any questions or you're looking into anything before you, you buy one of these boats, you can always message me. You can try and answer questions as best as possible.